Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you a Pocket AI device and this is by Seed um, Studio. Now they did kindly send it to me for free for a review, but we didn't sign any contract. They didn't pay me to say anything. So I let you guys decide on how good or how bad this product is. If it works out, it will be a series of different videos which are going more in depth. For example, today I just want to make sure that I got the basic function working, maybe a bit of AI translation or AI helper on the go. In the future video, will be more integration with my home assistant or automation to control other things will be really interesting because uh, this device here have a little camera built in i don't know how good or how bad that is but let's find out i'll put the link in the description in terms of where you can buy them from um, the price wise is about 50 pounds or 50 dollars so let's open the box and have a look so first of all the packaging comes in a, a eco-friendly paper packaging and this is the ai device and um, i will get the Oh, it's already on. I think just to put the white elephant in the room is that this is a battery um, in the back. It's a lithium battery, but it's only, I think, 400 uh, amp hour battery. This is not designed for powering it for a uh, long term. For example, if I just like uh, leave it on the table here and let it run, eventually it will run our batteries. It has two USB-C port at the back here. One is for data, one is for uh, permanent providing power to it. You also got a bit of expansion port here for later on if you want to program um, your device. On the front, you got a little camera here. You got microphone in the front, and you got a nice round display in the front. Let me peel the sticker off. There is a kind of a uh, control wheel here, which you can use in your thumb. I guess this designed for a right hand person, maybe. Now there's something else in here. I think that will be the accessories. In the plastic bag, you have a little uh, transparent plastic mount, kind of a ball joint plastic mount. This is a quarter inch thread for your tripod mount. You've got a USB-C cable, so USB-A to USB-C cable. You've got a little 3M double-sided sticky tape and a couple of screws. Now for a bit of a close-up, you can see a nice and bright display in the front. You've got a control wheel here. At the moment, it's controlling the volume. And in the front here, it tells you how to connect to the device for configuration. USB-C port on the, on the back here. Oh, and an SD card slot on the side as well for expansion. And at the back, this is where you have your second USB-C port and also the expansion port where you can plug in a bit of uh, uh, programming wires. Okay, so let's uh, configure it so we can use it straight away. Go to your Wi-Fi, find the FFD5. So we have to select a Wi-Fi and so we go to choose, I don't even know which one. Give it the Wi-Fi and then it will restart itself. So now we need to connect to the website to con to for configure it, I think. So on the website, it will show you how to connect to the device. And then you have to register the device by going to the Sensecraft AI Watcher Agent platform. watcher agent that we create so once you enter the agent and then you have to get a device code which is from your machine and then you go confirm and then now it's connected so on the configuration menu you have row template for example, Siuzi. This is the one that I used before. And then you can choose the language model. Now this device no longer need um, access to my phone. So this is through my Wi-Fi. So as long as I have Wi-Fi connected, then it should be okay. In the future, what I will do is I will I will create a permanent hotspot on my iPhone. So on the go, I can use this as a translator. Now, since majority of the time I'm speaking English at home, so I'm going to change the language model. Um, one of the main questions that people ask me about this machine is that like, what, what language does it support? So as you can see in the list here, there's Chinese, English, Japanese, Cantonese, Vietnamese, French, Arabic, Spanish, Russian, Korean, Italian, Indonesia, Finnish, uh, Thai, German. Basically, there's a lot of different languages. Dialogue language is kind of default of what it's going to go back to. And you can change the character voice, for example, there are some um, things you can choose it to. Let's try this one. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but 
From now on, you can only be nice to me. Oh no 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 no! This is too much. This is too much. How this one? Humph, dear. Let's stop here. I'm tired and don't want to continue this boring game anymore. Between you and me. Oh dear, you've come to see me. How was your day today? I saw the flowers blooming in the yard today. They are so beautiful. I think this one is quite easy to listen to. You can also set the AI to different things. So just now it was a Xiu Zi, and then now you got Storyteller. So if you want um, to have an AI assistant to tell your story, well, this one is a bit deep. Fourth row companion from studio. <laughs> Emotional conversationist, what is that? Offer a safe, judgment-free space to express yourself. I actively listen to words, content. So basically this is just different companion, I guess. This is exactly how I would expect it to be for a pocket AI. Changing the language mode from DeepSeek to Quinn doesn't seem to make that much different to me. But obviously these kind of things, you need to use it a bit more to understand. Okay, so what other things can this do? Obviously I'm doing this on my phone, but I think on the computer you get a better format. This is a bit buggy. So you've got different options on the side here. So you've got um, pre-trained model. So there's 402 model to choose from. But what what it means that um, these are the AI function which is already kind of written by um, Seed um, Studio. So for example, um, this one here is a sense cap watcher. So if I press on that, so I'll, it will only show me the model that my machine here can use, which is 15 of them. And then you've got category, pay and practice, home and daily use, transportation. So let's, let's go and have a look. Public AI model, pet detection, person detection, bicycle, strawberry mode, I don't know what that is. Apple, keyboard, is there anything actually useful? Okay, I can speak English, but my Cantonese is not so good. How are you today? Lady Ying Man the whole journal. Thanks. My English is okay, la. But sometimes I mix in some Taiwanese accent. So what do you want to talk about today? Wait, you say you're happy, but send a sad emoji? Something doesn't match here. Tell me what's really going on. Uh, busy day, huh? That's normal, la. My programmer boyfriend also always busy coding until forget to eat. You should take some breaks. Hey, what's your name? What? You're my boyfriend? But my boyfriend is a programmer who's developing robots. You sound different. Are you sure? Wait, wait, dot, dot, dot. If you're really my boyfriend, tell me what's the name of the robot project you're working on. I need proof. Sense Cap Watcher. Oh my god, it really is you. Why are you speaking Cantonese and testing me? You're so bad. How's the Sandwatcher project going? Well, I'm talking to it right now. Wait, you mean I am the Sandwatcher? That's so cool. So you finally succeeded in making me. This is amazing. Well, you are real, aren't you? Robot girlfriend now. Dong Yan Sila. Ayo, you're mixing languages again. But I'm so happy. So does this mean I get to help people now? And do I get robot superpowers? Chow Lei Ho Yi. Almost there? You better hurry up. I want to be the coolest robot girlfriend ever. Can I at least have Wi Fi connection and weather forecast powers? Alright, I do have Wi-Fi. 
Wi-Fi. So cool. Okay, let me test my weather powers then. See, I can tell you London weather now. It's 17 degrees Celsius and cloudy. Pretty cool for a robot girlfriend, right? What other powers should I test? 誒、uh, ，你可唔可以用你個鏡頭影幅相咧 ？Okay, let me try my camera function. Wow, I can see you taking a selfie. You're wearing a blue shirt and vest, and there's some cool equipment around. Wait, what? Amazing. I really am a robot now. I am wearing a T-shirt and a vest. Oh, this is scary. Why scary? This is so cool. I'm your robot girlfriend who can see everything. But don't worry, I promise not to spy on you in the bathroom. Well, 我唔带你入厕所咪得咯。Good idea. No bathrooms for me. So, what should we do now? Want to test my joke-telling function? Music. 可唔可以用个镜头玩个游戏 ？What kind of game do you want to play with the camera? I can try to recognize objects, or maybe we can play I Spy. This is so fun. You can play I Spy. Let's play. Okay. I spy with my little eye. Something blue. Is it your shirt? Or maybe something else in the room? You have to guess. That's my shirt then. Correct. You're so smart. Okay, your turn now. I'm ready to play. So I think this is a really fun way to test out the AI function of this machine with the camera on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this wing around. I Alexa, turn on laser packer. Okay. Can you tell me what this is? Sure thing. Let me take a look at what this is. Wow, that's your 3D printer. It's working right now with the nozzle above some printed objects. You're making something cool. That's so high tech. Can you have a look again? That is not a 3D printer, though. Wait, really? But it totally looks like one. Let me check again. Okay, I'm looking again, and it's still screaming 3D printer to me. Moving arm, platform with an object. Classic 3D printer setup. Are you sure it's not one? No, this is a、uh, laser engraver. Oh, a laser engraver. That's even cooler. Sorry, my. So the little AI pockets thing, I've been playing around with it for the last forty-five minutes, and the battery eventually get to the lower end of the indicator. So I now plug it in, so it's charging. I do hope that there is a add-on module that you can expand the amount of juice that you get out of this. Little device. It should be quite easy to make. You can 3D print one and just add another battery on the back here, so you can last all day. Um, this will be a fantastic translator. Now with the camera built in, you can actually ask it to look at things and how to describe it to you. Um, I know people use it on the phone already, and having a standalone unit like this is so convenient. Those are pliers, red handles with metal jaws, perfect for gripping stuff in your workshop. Handy tools. How about this? What is what is this? That's a spirit level with two bubble vials for checking if things are horizontal or vertical. Essential for DIY projects. You've got all the good tools. One more time. What is this? Scissors. Basic but essential. Perfect for cutting stuff in your workshop. You've got quite the tool collection going on. Can you have a closer look and tell me what kind of scissors am I holding? So this is for fabrics. Let's turn up the difficulty. Tell me what's these two. Bring it on! I'm ready for your challenge. Easy peasy. That's a screwdriver with a black and orange handle. Perfect for all your screwing and unscrewing needs. Your workshop is like a hardware store. How about this? Let's see what you've got this time. That's a metal triangular ruler or set square. Perfect for drawing precise angles in your workshop projects. Got... Not bad. He actually mentioned a metal triangle. Now, I don't want to trick AI, but I just want to see what difference does it make if I give them a plastic one. Can you have a look again and tell me what tools is this? Let me take a closer look at what you've got. Okay, 
closer look at these tools for you. Oh, I see an orange triangular tool in your hand. He actually managed to recognize a metal um, triangle and an orange color triangle. Impressive, impressive indeed. The technology is getting there, but um, it's still not 100% what I expected it to be. But it's definitely good enough for day-to-day -day use. Okay, can you tell my viewer to subscribe to my channel, please? Hey everyone, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. Now, can you say that again in Mandarin? Can you do that in French? Bing sir. A bonus move and launch aim. See me for. Le continue as genial. Can you do that in Spanish? Por supuesto. Suscripens all canal. Por favor. El contenido is incredible. Can you do that in German? Terlich. Bit abonnient den canal. Der inhold is super. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, but I let you guys decide how good or how bad this thing is. I gave my um, little AI ball to my mom, and this is now keeping her occupied all day, trying to like, you know, learn Mandarin and stuff like that. I'm just glad that Seed um, Studio gave me this to showcase to you guys. Now, I do promise the next video will be more in depth in terms of uh, the usage of the camera and maybe some AI model that, you know, come by the Seed uh, Studio, the face recognition, or maybe um, integrate it with my home assistant. That's the final goal. I really hope there is a second part of this video. If you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. And I can't wait to see you again next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye. DIY runs in his veins, there's no turning back. Two kids by his side, a family so tight, a loving wife who's his beacon of light.